السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ رب شرخلی صدری و یسر علی عمری وحل الفتم السانی یفق قولی رب یسر ولا توسر و تم بالخیر سو ان ٹوڈیز لیکچر وی ول کنٹینیو ود اور ڈی سی مشینریز فنڈامنٹل سو وی ول لک ان دا ٹاپک آف کمیٹیشن ان سمپل فور لوپ ڈی سی مشین so this is to understand what uh, the uh, what are the problems that can be uh, arise from this commutation the one of the basic problem that we have seen the armature reaction that uh, uh, that we have seen already uh, so let's uh, look at this topic commutation as we know that the commutation uh, is the process to convert the ac uh, voltages uh, and currents in the rotor of a dc machine to dc and uh, dc voltages and currents uh, at its terminals so here we can see a simple uh, four loop two pole dc machine so here we can see that uh, we have this uh, winding one uh, which is connected through commutator a and b uh, and this is a uh, then it makes uh, the other winding it uh, uh, the other uh, 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 wire of the loop is uh, uh, here has prime number uh then uh, uh, also there is another situation if you can see here is that uh, all the uh, po all the uh, wire loops which are uh, uh, unprimed number which are unprimed they are uh, closer to this pearl, uh, poles and while the innermost are uh, numbered as the the primes so first loop which is one and its one prime is connected through uh, commutator a b and these are the brushes and similarly 2 is uh, uh, here 2 and its primed number is here 2 prime and similarly 3 is here and it is connected through commutator c and d here and similarly 4 is connected through commutator d and a so uh, all the uh, if you can see that uh, the uh, uh, the wires of the loops 1 uh, 2 3 prime and 4 prime under the under the north pole Uh, while the one prime, two prime, three and four are under under the south pole, and we assume that this uh, situation is wet uh, is uh, when omega t is equal to zero. Also, the curved surface of this rotor and the poles actually uh, helps to keep the uniform magnetic flux in the air gap. So this air gap, obviously, we know that air has the high uh, uh, high reluctance, so that's why. it uh, only uh, will means it will try to pass through the uh, uh, to the perpendicular uh, perpendicular uh, it will drop as a perpendicular to the rotor so here we have the uniform magnetic flux here and here so this uh, rotor is rotating counter clockwise so in the circuit form we can see here that uh, one and uh, one prime is connected between uh, uh, commutator a and b and uh, this is the back side of coil obviously where it is connected so we are looking at only the front uh, front view of this motor and uh, this is uh, two and two prime uh, which is connected between the commutator c and b and uh, similarly three and three prime they are connected between the commutator c and d and four and four prime they are connected uh, with the uh, commutators d and a so the four loops of this machines are laid into the slots in a special manner the unprimed end of each loop is the outermost wire in each slot while the primed end of each loop is in is the innermost wire of the slot directly opposite so the windings connections to the machines commutator are shown here we have seen in the previous uh, here uh, so notice that loop 1 stretches between commutator segments uh, a and b and loop 2 stretches between segments b and c and so forth Uh, at the instant shown in figure uh, here in the previous slide uh, this figure so 1 2 3 prime and 4 prime ends of the loops are under the north pole face while the 1 prime 2 prime 3 and 4 ends of the loops are under the south pole that i have already told you that uh, here we can see that 1 2 3 prime and 4 prime they are under the north pole uh, while uh, 1 prime 2 prime 3 and 4 are under the south pole so uh, the voltage induced in this uh, wire uh, in these loops will be if we, <coughs> the voltage that will be uh, uh, in the uh, loops which are under the north pole is uh, 1 2 3 prime and 4 prime 
and uh, ends of the loop is given by each uh, in each loop the voltage will be v cross p dot l and uh, v induced will be then vbl positive out of the page while it will be uh, under the, the under the south pole which are 1 prime 2 prime 3 and 4 ends of the loops is given by again the same value but it will be positive into the page so the overall result uh, sh is uh, shown in figure b here we have uh, this figure b here we can see that uh, each of these wires have the induced voltage in them so the total voltage will be the sum of these uh, voltages which is uh, we marked it as capital e which is equal to 4e so that will be 4e at omega t equals to 0 so we can see that there are two parallel paths for the current through the machine so the existence of two or more parallel paths for rotor current is common feature of all commutation schemes so let's assume that uh, uh, what happens if the rotor is rotated uh, uh, further uh, uh, 45 degree so here we can see that uh, the these uh, uh, these loops uh, which are one uh, one and one prime three and three prime uh, they are not under the any poles so the voltage induced in them uh, uh, will be zero so here we can see that uh, one prime and one prime there is zero volt and three and three prime there are zero volt so the only voltage we are left with in the in these uh, loops two and two prime uh, four and four prime so these voltages will be sum up to the e is equal to two e so uh, if uh, we look at this uh, uh, further if it is rotated 90 degree uh, so what happens that uh, now those loops, uh, those loops which are under the south pole previously at omega t equals to zero, now they are under the loop under the po under different poles. Here we can see that one prime, uh, two, three, and four prime they are under the uh, north pole now, and two prime, three prime, and one four they are under the south pole. So, but uh, what actually happens is that uh, they will change uh, their their position, but the voltage induced in them will be in the same direction. So uh, th that's again the voltage will be for E is equal to 4E. Uh, so uh, 4E at omega t is equal to 90 degree. So the, the, the voltages on loops 1 and 3 have reversed between the uh, two pictures uh, from omega t is equal to 0 degree to omega t is equal to 90 degree. But since their connections have also reversed, the total voltage is still being built up in the same direction as before. So this is uh, actually the heart of every commutation scheme because we actually want a, a DC voltage which is a one-sided voltage. So here it will uh, look like that uh, it will be once it will be 4E and then it will be 2E and 4E and then 2E. So it have the pulsations but we can see that, that it, it is in the same direction. So similarly if it is uh, a more poor, if we have the more number of uh, loops and more commutators so it will be more smooth. So uh, that's uh, that's the heart of the commutation. Uh, so we have seen uh, previously we have seen only the single loop. Now we have seen the four loops. Uh, so to make a better understanding of this uh, tra transformation from AC to DC. So basically, again, remember that that commutation is uh, only a process uh, uh, which is used to uh, convert the AC voltages to DC voltages. Uh, if it is a generator, so we can take the DC, or if it is a motor, so we can supply a DC through these commutator to run the motor. Uh, so th this is how the commutation uh, can be done. Uh, you can further, uh, if you wish, uh, you can make more loops in the wire in this motor and you can uh, make all these diagrams again. Uh, but that uh, will just be uh, complicated, but uh, we can visualize them uh, so that uh, we can actually better understand the commutation process. So I hope uh, you have understood this commutation process in a simple for loop DC machines. So still, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask. Uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.